we made it. It's wet, it's gloomy, we got a lot of ice still, everything's soaked, so we're gonna get at it right now. It's uh, 8 a.m., sun's getting up, it's not that bright yet, but I really want to dial in those white fish. Weapons is chores this morning, I'm not too sure what I wanna use. Um, well, I know I'm sure I wanna use this. You know, you guys seen it, the drifter, again, it's still soaked up from the sauce. Look at this. I fish with this. I've caught a couple white fish on it. The saw's still on it. That's a 44 inch sea bass outdoors rod designed for this lake. The fish in this lake, you know, the four to 12 pound fish. And I got down there with the drifter. Got him. Oh, I lost him. I lost him. It was a big, 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 big white fish. Oh, that was a big fish. Okay. Okay. Sure. This is the same fish I just lost. Ate it, stung him. I wasn't ready. And came back. It's a big white fish. He's puking a bunch of stuff, too. I'll take my time here because it's a good fish. That's a white fish doing this. I don't want to lose that fish. That is a good, what we call a good white fish. White fish on the drifter and the sauce, you know. You fought me good. Now, time to release him. You can see him. Woo, he go. Oh man, that fish had a lot of energy. Caught that fish twice. Hooked him, he got pissed, came back. Let's go. Hey, what's up guys? It's been a pretty tough day. The fish are inactive. They're here, they're just, uh, they're not moving much. They're not looking for food. And what was my key today is the Apex 100 in Chrome. A big, big spoon would do. Uh, it would have to be very, very flashy. The Apex 100, I put it down the hole, I jig it on bottom, as you can see, and the fish will come to it. And once they come to that, I leave it on bottom and then I start moving my drifter, my finesse bait, and they come to the finesse bait and that's how I catch them. But this has been key today. The tractor, as I call it. He wants it too, he wants that apex. He's right over it right now. The swim on it. He's on the drifter. Oh, he had the drifter in his mouth. He's placing himself. He got the drifter, oh, I had him. It's over. Oh no! <laughs> I pulled it out of his mouth. I'm right here, bud. I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm right here. Oh, he's pissed. He's eating. Come on, bud. Got him. 
<laughs> What's up, YouTube? That's a good one, too, man. That one was aggressive, but he took his time eating it, man. That's the one I saw, too, under the hole. Hey. Ooh, that's my line doing that. Man, the one I caught this morning peeled line hard. Oh, well, here it is. So you guys saw the technique I'm doing down there. I got the Apex 100. You guys are like, why are you pounding bottom so hard? Because I want to track this thing. It's lazy. It's on the couch. I'm knocking on the door. Snapping it, snapping it, snapping it. He comes. I let go of the Apex 100, although I thought he was going to eat it. I let go of it, and then I just show him the drifter, and he's like, oh, that's more my size. On the drifter workout. There you go, I'm gonna show up to the camera because we're filming here too. That's a nice white fish. How about if he was stock, I'd keep it because we're at fish tacos tonight. But beautiful fish. You guys want to see something cool? Watch this. All right, so that's about the average size, four pounds. You guys want to see something cool? Hopefully he doesn't kick on me. But look at this. <laughs> you guys see it through the ice? Right here. We're gonna let him go now. Chew, he gown. What's up guys? That's a wrap for us. A little quick short day. Hopefully you enjoy the underwater footage. You know, if you do enjoy the underwater footage and you want to support me and keep in making those videos, like it, subscribe, and share. That's how you truly help me. If you want to really support me, CanadianTacoStore.com. We'll see you guys next time. Let's go.